listening to TSN. The Sportscast Network. You're tuned in to live coverage of Frontline Force. Frontline Force. Right here on the Team Sportscast Network. TSN. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Bridger. With me on the air, Violator, the Frontline Force game. Violator, we're going to beer. Can can you can you refresh my memory on those <laughs> points? Because I forgot what they were called. <laughs> oh wait wait wait! I remember one. Uh, well, I remember Richard, one. The living room. I remember Richard, that one. The sewers. I, I was gonna say. You and should, no, you uh, should the remember. Bedroom, right? There's no. Uh, well, no, uh, sort of. You got. There's three points oh, the, on the, the map. Bar. You got one. That's the living room. Upstairs bar, right? Yeah, the bar. There okay. you go. See, I remember the map Bar's perfectly. One, I just couldn't remember the names. Room. So what's the last one, then? There's it's three. It's not the, uh... Living rooms? Yeah, do you know what oh, it is? Oh, not the I sewers. Know what it is. It's, it's called something else. It's, like, right near the sewers. Uh, the it's alley. It's alleyway. Alley, yeah. Sweet sewers. It's just been so long since I played that map. Oh, man. It's such a classic, I, I'm though. ashamed. I, it's so good. I just played it the other day, actually. I mean, I played... It's almost I play it almost every day because it's always on the server, still in the rotation. Such an old map, but still so good. Yeah, that's that's. I also like this map. We're we're playing on right now uh, Lombardi, and or yeah, this is Lombardi because it was made by Dave Lombardi, but they called no, this is Avanti or was it, they had one version for TFC and one for FLF. Which was which? Do you remember? Uh, I think well. I know this, there was a controversy, like, we tried to, uh, for Frontline Force 2, somebody wanted to work on um, Lombardi 2, and they couldn't do it because they had to go and email Valve for the rights to the map, to the RMF file, which is like the the uh, the core file that they, the textures before and you process it into a map. Yeah, oh, yeah, like when okay. all the design, architecture, and all that stuff. So, um, it's definitely in some other uh, matches, or I'm sorry, other games. It's in TFC, I know that. It was called Avanti in TFC, and that was actually a pretty cool version of it, too. You had to bring a flag up the whole hill and thing instead of capture your way up. But here we are. We are on beer. Beer. <laughs> Anyways, wow, I forgot how dark these maps are. How the hell do you turn up your brightness? I can't remember. There's supposed to be a console command. I, I used to know it, but I don't remember it anymore. Anyways, I forgot oh, how boy. dark this map was. I always thought these... Like, whenever I remember these maps, it's always in perfect color. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I should know the console command, but I don't. <laughs> so unfortunately, I can't help you there. I think it actually is a whole lot darker. Wait, wait, wait. My monitor. I think my monitor's incorrect. Let's try this. No, my monitor's at a hundred. I think I, I set my gamma down a little bit when I adjusted my monitor for another game. That one of those spooky. I think it was natural selection or something. I turned my gamma down on my drivers instead of. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll figure that out some other time. Right now, the map, obviously, the most difficult point to capture would be the living room point because it's so close to the defender's spawn, obviously. The second most difficult point to capture would be the upstairs, uh, the bar. Do you think that the bar is going to be play an important factor in this game, or are the defenders solely going to concentrate on the living room? Well, the bar may even be the more important point because uh, the living room capture is so short. It's only seven seconds. The bar for an assault to capture is, I think, starting at 13 or 14 seconds. So, yeah. And as you know, uh, the grenades are, are going to play a big role in this mm -hmm. map. I, I always used to pride so myself on being able to chuck a grenade perfectly up into that window. And then, I, you know, a couple of times you'd just, like, chuck it up and you'd go too far or you'd hit the wall on the right of it and it would <laughs> bounce right back and nail you in the head. And uh, that was kind of embarrassing. It'd be like, I yes, I rock a grenade! Woo! Say. Boom! <laughs> Damn, my head! You better, you better watch where you throw. <laughs> I know. Yeah, definitely. The, the grenades in the Frontline Force are just so damn powerful that, like, you yeah, can't help like that wussy half a half a counter strike grenades, right? <laughs> Those things like you stand three feet away and you're like, oh, twenty percent damage. Ow, that really hurt. High explosive, my ass. Uh, yeah, last <laughs> last night we were playing uh, a couple of guys from TSM. We all got together and played counter strike, and I remember several times it took three grenades to kill me, and it was just ridiculous because we were. I mean, I just keep taking... Oh, look at this. They're making a uh, stack here in Surrey. You see that by the fence? Yes, form? I see that. I remember they made, uh, like, the tallest stack I've ever seen. 32 players or something was on a DOD map because it was so tall, they, they jumped out of the chapel and landed onto the stack from the top. 
<laughs> I, you know, they used to do this a long time ago. Kind of, they used to make great ones in Quake. I think that was, but that was quite. A and while then, ago. and then, of course, the grenade that, that goes off at the bottom of the stack as soon as the picture's done taken. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you know, every single <laughs> screenshot you see of a stack, it's moments before utter chaos breaks out. <laughs> Oh, the grenade at the bottom is just folly for everyone else because that's they all fall to death or they get blasted to death out of the way. Or everybody starts knifing each other or somebody just starts firing and then everybody else starts firing and there's TKs and there's vomiting and there's death and destruction and the grenades. <laughs> and, oh, it's painful. So we're going to see uh, if... The uh, def I'm, I think in the defenders are going to try and defend both simply because they are so close to each other. You could be at the bottom of the bar and still fire into the window and kill a capture at the street. I'm sorry, the street, the the living room point. And I like how there's a there's a uh, what is that? Real gamer? I thought they used to say PC gamer. I never heard of the Real Gamer magazine. In, in on the living room uh, uh, desk there, you know. Oh, let me go read that. Oh, there it is. I never really sat down and read it. I know they got a couple of nice-looking pictures in the wall in the living room, uh, but that's about it. <laughs> it looks like uh, we may be getting a start match here pretty soon. Yes, indeed. We do have H-Labs versus the friend or enemy. Ah, I was supposed to do some... I totally blanked out here. Do you remember who won the last one, Foe or versus H-Labs? Because I'm an idiot. Uh, I, I you know, I, I think... I think it was Foe, but I... Don't quote me on that because I was not in TSN at that point, so I yeah, don't okay. really remember. That was like one of the first ones. It's Kesman. I, I, I uh, okay. Let's see. I got it in one of my casts here. Old school. Old school. Frontline force. Well, we got a start match here, Bridget. Oh, we so do? I'm going to pick Forget it up right that, here. Then. 25 seconds. Yeah, definitely. Here we go. 25 seconds. It looks like we're going to have the rebels. Will be H Labs. They'll be attacking the first round, and Clan Foe will be defending. Six on six, uh, doing a quick roster check for the foe squad. We have Skinny J, Hugo Boom, Wreck, Expedex, Phil Bullet, and for the uh, H Lab squad, Sparks, MPS, Tripped Pan, Doc Death, Ducky, and Grizz. Bridger, take us away. All right, we have the attack beginning. Five minutes and 57 seconds left on the clock. Grenades being primed as the defenders... I'm sorry, not the defenders. The attackers rush out of their spawn. Uh-oh, friendly fire grenade right there. Who's on top of the roof of the living room firing down onto the enemy towards the bar? Still no blood has yet been killed. Well, blood's been spilled, but nobody's been killed. There we go. Foe gets the first kills, taking out Tryptophan and MPS and Ducky and Grizz. Grizz finally getting a kill over Phil right there with his grenade, but it looks like the bar is now being captured with 13 seconds. Violator, they're coming in. Uh, here we go. Grenades being thrown, but it looks like there's only one member of Foe left alive. Whoa, that's Ex Expedex there with two kills as HK21 coming into play as he stopped the capture at the bar right away, and now Foe is back in control. Finally, after that uh, maze. Oh, wait a minute. Living room being captured. Are you there? No, it got stopped. It looks like that was Bullet in there for the foe team taking out Ducky. Ducky did a light sneaking move, but the bar, it must have been a distraction because the bar is being captured. Nobody has stopped it yet. Boom, somebody comes in, and there it is. Oh, yes. Skinny comes in. Skinny J for the foe team to stop that capture. MPS is holding it for a long time. The bar is now going up. The living room is being captured. What's going on? Uh, three seconds, two, we got great defense here. Here comes Skinny the Fatty, and no, he stops it, but now the bar is being captured. Two seconds, one, zero, it's indeed captured by those H-Labs. Oh, got up my there. Now goodness. Now being captured. Whoa, oh, no, the living room right was captured. Holy cap. shit, there goes Wreck with a oh. five, four, three-person grenade. I can't count. But, man, that was some uh, amazing back-and-forth action by the H-Labs guys. They'd go for bar, they'd get killed, but then at the same time, they would be starting the living room, then that would be killed, and somebody would else be at the bar, and they went back-and-forth, back-and-forth, and the attack was very low, and so they captured it with four le four twelve left on the clock. Wow, round over that fast bridge, a very quick capture. Like you said, that double capture happened in less than uh, less than 10 seconds because they really had the bar going the whole time and never really stopped uh, long enough to get up all the way to its full time. So, uh, <laughs> good game to that attacking squad. That was uh, H-Labs coming right out right away to scare foe there. They better come back and do something. Yes, another score stands at 3-0, H-Labs' favor. H-Labs now gets their chance to defend, 
And uh, here comes the foe team. The attack begins, and I see nothing. <laughs> there they go. They just rushed out of their spawn. They're getting fired upon by the H Labs guys. Let me see who that is. That looks like that's Ducky holding them off at the uh, left side here from the attacker's perspective. They're trying to get their way out, but that door is usually camped by the defenders at the very beginning. It looks like that happened. X Speed X getting three quick kills, opening it up for the attackers. Foe team, boom, Dr. Dev chucks on a grenade towards the bar entrance and takes out three. Skinny J, X, B, X, and uh, somebody else got owned by that grenade. Viper, Viper, Violator, <laughs> why don't you take it away while I learn how to talk? Well, uh, some fire up here on top of this living room roof, but uh, X, I'm sorry, the clan foe is having a tough time getting in there. Doc Dev, like you said, had four kills. And, whoa, there's a grenade. Hugo Boom getting two kills there. Ducky and Grizz both blasted off the roof. And here comes Tryptophan inside the living room point. No points captured yet. No. Uh, here we go. Wait a minute. We're going to have a capture here. Foes inside uh, taken over. But no, Doc Death jumps in with a grenade and ends that. Back to you. Ducky is still in the living room. It looks like he's holding it down for the H-Labs team. Foe has not been able to get in there. This might not be their map. It looks like it's shaping up so far. Four minutes and 39 seconds left on the clock. I'm counting another attack now by Wreck for the Foe team, making his way towards the bar entrance. He's going down the ramp, and he's making his way past it. He's chucking a grenade into the living room, and it goes off, and nobody's there. Who is that? Looks like Sparks for the H-Labs team was in the living room. He ducks behind cover just in time. The bar is being captured. Violator, take it. Whoa, it looks like uh, members below trying to rush in. Here we go. It looks like this is Wreck from Foe in there all by himself. Four seconds, three. No, it's stopped by Grizz with the HK. I'm sorry, that was MPS with the uh, AK-5 kill. Grizz on the cover, taking out Bullet there. And that capture was ended with just four seconds left. Um, still no other points being captured, and that's it for the that round. I'm sorry, that attack, that particular rush there. And now the bar being captured. Are you there? Yeah, I'm over here with Hugo Boom, who's trying to capture the bar, but he gets interrupted, and he's now trying to fight off the attackers, H Labs guys. And he does do it. Looks like bullets up there, giving him some cover. So now a, a huge boom for the foe team is there. Boom! A grenade goes off. Huge boom takes it. And so it looks like bullets stayed alive. Another grenade comes in. He's at five seconds. Four, three. The grenade doesn't kill him. Two, one. Stopped. Who came in? It looks like that was Phil uh, taking out some of the H Labs guys. But MPS did get in there in time to stop the capture. Captures restarted. Three seconds. Two, one. The bar is going to get captured unless they can stop it right here. Boom! Bar is captured by the foe team. This could put them right back in the game if they can get the three points quick here and defend next time they'll get the lead right now we do have the uh, living room remains uncaptured along with the alley with three minutes and eight seconds left on the clock yeah that was phil that got that capture in the bar there he had some very nice cover bullet um and some other members were able to keep that capture going which enabled phil to jump in there and finish it off the key is going to be to get the respawn pressure going here as h labs grizz with that hk21 on top Taking out a couple members of foe as they try to rush through the door, but they are cut down immediately. Looks like H Labs is going to try and get another rush going here. I'm sorry, foe is going to try and get another rush going. H Labs defending. All of them are inside that living room point right now. Here comes Xvidex with a grenade, taking out Tryptophan, but MPS gets him with that AK-5. Right back to you. All right, I was just checking IRC. It looks like somebody's telling me that uh, it was H Labs that won the last one. I believe that is correct. I believe Phobe made a very close game, but H Labs was able to pull it out on Kesman in the last attack. So we'll see if they can do the same here. They did pick up that very quick. Oh, living room is being captured. Who is in here? No, it's somebody fighting it out. And trip the fan. No, that was Doctor Death. I believe came in with his famas and took out the attacking foe members in the living room. So now that that attack has been cut down, and they're going to have to uh, coordinate a little bit better. That double attack by the H Labs team really gave them an advantage because the the defenders had to defend two things at the same time and it wore them down. But right now the H Labs team only concentrated on that living room, so it's going to make it a little bit tougher for the foe team. Well, you know, Bridger, it looks like foes making their rushes in like kind of ones and twos again. A problem we've seen. Whoa! There's a grenade by Phil. Two members of H Labs go down and two more. Now living room being captured. That's Wreck all by himself inside the living room point. No members of H Labs in the area. I think it's going to be captured. Two seconds. One, zero. It's captured. Living room captured by the foe squad. And now the only point remaining is the alley with one minute, 18 seconds left. Very nice job on that attack. Was that Phil in there capturing? Uh, you know, I, I think it was Wreck, actually. Yeah, Phil was up top. He was giving them some excellent cover fire. Phil was up in that window. They, as they were capturing, a defender was headed towards the door. He could have stopped it, but Phil 
cut him down before he got there. The alley is now free, but there's only 54 seconds left. The defenders might have a chance here. If h Labs can defend that alley, 4, 50 more seconds, they will get it. The alley now being captured. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. They're watching the sewer. Grenades being chucked down there. Rec takes out one of them in the basement. Um, sorry, sewer, 5 seconds. 4, 3, nobody coming. Here come the defenders. 2, 1, and the defenders are cut down. No, the alley is stopped. MPS takes the grenade underneath him. h Labs Ducky fighting against who is that? No, Phil goes down 26 seconds. The alley at 2 seconds going up. It looks like that was Ducky came in to stop the capture just in time as the grenade took out two others. No, Wreck comes in. Four seconds. Three, two, foe now capturing. Here comes h Labs. It's stopped just in time by a grenade. Oh, no. Here it goes. And it's finally oh. captured with 11 seconds. Holy Ooh. cow. That was close, man. Whoa, very... Very close grenades non stop out of that sewer. I saw Grizz chuck a really nice grenade up there and then just come up and blast to pieces the only member of uh, that was foe left alive. And that was very close there at the end. Awesome, awesome round by both teams here. Very quick captures. Um, or I'm sorry, not quick captures. Those were not quick. It took a while, but they finally got it done. Four seconds, three. Take us away, Bridger. You know what? I could actually hear the H Labs team speak server going, God damn it! <laughs> right at the end. No, <laughs> but now we have the uh, foe team is going to be defending. H Labs is on their second attack of this, uh, this half. They're making their way towards the bar, it looks like, with large forces. They're getting hit from the roof and firing back. Blood being exchanged. Nobody has actually gotten a kill. Boom! There goes Huge Boom, living up to his name. MBS and Tryptophan both fall down to his grenade, and they do not get back up. Here comes Age Labs on the attack, and uh, they ignore the bar. It looks like they're going for the to clear off the roof first, but they go down. Sparks jumped across those uh, little wires there, trying to clear out the roof, but he didn't quite do it. He got taken down in the process. Nothing is... Living Room's being captured. Violator, are you there? Yes, and that was Rec coming in and that capture. There was two members of H Labs inside. One climbed up the ladder to get into that window, but was unsuccessful. Whoa, Sparks getting two grenade kills there and following up with a third. Is her AK-5 just came into play there, and now finally... that. Lo oh, wait a minute, Grizz, the support is inside. Boom, there he goes. Phil gets him with a grenade, and the living room is finally stopped by Foe as uh, they come back in to take control of the point. You know, that was less of a boom and more like a pork. <laughs> that's all I heard. But the bar is, is cu curiously ignored right now, it looks like. H Labs kind of not building on the same exact strategy. To, oh, here comes the kitchen sink. The bar is now being captured. 11 seconds, 10. Ducky's <laughs> up there. No defenders in sight. 7 seconds, 6. Here comes somebody chucking a grenade up. No, it didn't work. 3 seconds, 2, 1. Looks like we do have uh, the... F no, that wasn't somebody chucking a grenade. That was huge boom defending the uh, the uh, defender's courtyard, not letting any of them get up there. So now the bar has been captured with little to no resistance. The uh, living room and alley remain free. If I were foe... I'm um, sorry, Ape Slabs, I would grab that alley right now to prevent uh, the kind of a situation that happened in the last round. Well, you know, Bridget, we got... Uh, it looks like Grizz is out there with his HK-21 camping that spawn. Whoa, there's a kill there. Grizz gets taken out by Skinny J and the Famous. Uh, three minutes, 50 seconds left in this round. Still plenty of time. H Labs needs to get their fatty on that spawn. Living room being captured, but it's stopped by Hugo Boom. As Ducky was all by himself, Hugo Boom rushed in from spawn and hose him down with that Famous. And now, boom, there's a grenade. Trip the fan gets two kills there. x Dex and Bullet both going down. And now Living Room being captured again. No, it stops. Doc Death gets Hugo Boom. Boom, there's a grenade. Another grenade by Skinny J. Wow, tons of action inside that living room point. Now it's being captured again. There it goes. Boom! Ho, ho, ho! Looks like that was... I didn't see who that was. I think it was H Labs, um... Uh, Ducky or MPS, I'm pretty sure it was Ducky, just grabbed that somebody. and now the alley being captured. <laughs> Sorry, Hugo Boom. I called him Huge <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> That's okay, though. I'm not lit. You don't have to be literate to be on the Team Sportscast Network. That's not a requirement. Just <laughs> just over the age of 18. That's all. Wow, that was another uh, quick capture. Oh. What was that, 3 minutes and 10 seconds for left? Oh, yeah. It was very close to 3 minutes into that round. Or w with that much time left in the round, and man, a really a close game so far. Both teams are really pressing these points uh, like none other. This is a better game than uh, <laughs> CA Rod ever was, because that was a complete <laughs> blowout. But 
<laughs> uh, four seconds left on this attack. Uh, looks like we're going to see if Foe is going to be able to get it this time. Here we go. This time we have H Labs set out, set up outside the spawn, all on the right side by that door there. And I think here comes. Whoa! There's a grenade. Sparks blast. Hugo boom drawing first blood there with the grenade throwing long range. Bridger, back to you. <laughs> all right, we. D Whoa! There goes Sparks chucking a couple of bullets over at somebody from the AK-5. Skinny J decides to hop right into the uh, stream and takes one for the foe team. So now five minutes and 33 seconds, and it does look like foe is now getting their attack in order. Their their offense is pretty okay, but they really need to work on their defense because H Labs held them all the way to, to almost the end last time, but foe has lost it with uh, with uh, three minutes remaining or something pretty quickly, so th hopefully for the second half they'll be able to try that. This is the last quarter of this first half here. Five minutes and twelve seconds. Nothing has been tried to capture yet. I think Foe might be going after the bar right now. I'm following somebody. Looks like that's Bullet going up for the bar. Yes, he's there. He's starting to capture. Maybe. No, he's chucking a grenade. Grenade pops in the window, and boom! He gets out of there just in time. And now his buddy looks like that's Phil now capturing. Bullet is in the window trying to cover for his friend. No! Phil goes down. MPS takes him and Bullet it down. Not a very good body bar. Whoa, living room. Living room was just captured by uh, Skinny J of Foe. He snuck in there all by himself. Uh, Foe complete. I'm sorry, H Labs did not even see. I am back. So now it should work. I should be able to talk to Violator on Ventrilo. Getting on there real quick. Bing -a bong. Turn that off. Connect. Hello. Yes. All right. Let's get into there. Violator, are you there? Yeah, I'm still here, Bridger, but uh, that was the end of the map. I guess uh, we had some technical issues there. It's called a blue screen of death. Microsoft invented it just to piss you off. Or me. God, I've never seen that before. My computer just, I just totally went um, to the, it wasn't the normal blue screen of death either. It wasn't the one that says control, alt, delete to end program or, or you know, press key to end pro It was like one of those uh, blue with the white weird font at the top left corner that said general exception error in some weird thing. And it just, the, the sound went, and I was just like, okay, watch out. Okay, so we're going on to the second half. Then. What happened at the end there? Uh, you know, I didn't see what happened at the end because I was busy out here looking for UNC and I was about to actually connect and uh, finish off the cast in case you weren't coming back, but uh, I'm not quite sure. I'm going to have to ask those guys what it was because I heard you cut out. Yeah, I have no idea why that happened. That Anyways, be. that's a very rare occurrence because that's never happened before, so i got to hope it doesn't happen again. Set song 2 is FLF Foe versus H Labs. Don't forget... Guys, we're going to have a very special presentation for you at the end of this round. You are not going to want to miss it. We were going to do it for halftime, but I decided we got a lot of other matches going on, so I'm going to save it for the end when more people will be tending to tune in. We'll have the other matches will be over, and people will be tending to tune in after. So you're definitely going to want to hear this. When the match is over, stay tuned, and you're going to hear a very special announcement from the uh, front okay, line Bridger, force. Okay, um Bridger, real quick, I think we got the score here, 7-3, to three in favor of, uh, I think, was it Foe? I'm not quite sure. Who won the two rounds? Was it H-Labs or Foe? Well, hop into one of those channels and figure it out. Let's just do that real quick here. Bing, bing, uh, bing, 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 bing. I'm trying bing, to do that now. I don't remember. Oh, it was H-Labs. Okay. Are, are you in the server with them? Are they still on that server, or are they uh, moved? No, no, half did. We've moved off. Uh, it's seven to three. H Labs in the lead right now. I guess Foe wasn't able to finish up that last attacking ah, round. Ah, seven to three. Oh. H Labs. So let's see. Oh, I guess we're going to the Foe server then. Yeah, we'll have to get that information, and uh, we'll be back really soon. So yeah, hang on, guys. We'll play your official lead hacks or sounder. Yes. The following is a paid public service announcement from the Parents Against Elite Haxers Foundation. Billy and I used to play. <laughs> yeah, we we used to play a lot. Because um, Billy was my friend. And, and, and one day, <laughs> Billy and I were, were playing. <laughs> Billy, <laughs> Billy was shot. Through a wall. <laughs>
Please, don't let lead hackers affect your life. If you know or are someone that needs help, please do the right thing. Hello, girls and boys. Let's see. We've been gaming first, and we do call the shots. And not to mention that we are your source for the esports revolution. And yes, we even bring, bring on to life. life. However, we are not some overrated 13-year-old script kitty tossing out F-bombs every two seconds, pranking the local donut shop thinking we pwn. Uh, thank you for calling Dunkin' Donuts. This is Jim. How may I help you? Haha, <laughs> you sell donuts, you fat. <laughs> we are TSN, the team sportscast network. You know who we are. You know what we do. Okay? Good game. Thanks. Bye. You are listening to TSN. <laughs> have been rescued. TSN. May cause profuse sweating, nausea, hiccups, uncontrollable bowel movements, warts, and depletion of the ozone layer. That is, if you don't listen. The Team Sportscast Network. And now, another QuakeCon moment. Brought to you by the Team Sportscast Network. Hefty individuals here at QuakeCon. The other day, both elevators better tread that water lightly, pal. The other day, <laughs> the other day, both elevators were, were out of commission. Now, do you think that the you know the event staff and the uh, hotel people said, you know what, we need to promote fitness. Let's turn off the elevators, and make these dudes walk up to the top floor. I think oh, no, that's not what happened. Or a couple four of them. You want to know what really happened? A couple four of them got in and crashed the bottom. bottom. <laughs> I'll give you a TSN exclusive right here on the air right. and let you know what really happened to the elevators. Okay. We're ready. What happened is, is that they brought up the beer run for the exec staff upstairs and it overloaded the elevators, burned up the motor. <laughs> it's gone. It caught fire, smoked up, set off the fire alarms in the hotel. We like to never got the beer in the room before the cops got up there. Oh, man. Well, the beer didn't get stuck, I assume. No, no, no. Well, it's it's gone now. Well, yeah. There's no more evidence. There's no more evidence except a lot of aluminum in a can out back. So you guys are getting really good Recycle deposit back. That's right. <laughs> We're bringing in supplies oh. by the truckload these days. Oh my goodness! Uh, what, people are loving it this morning. What a hell! What a hell of an event this is. This has been a QuakeCon moment on TSN. www.tsncentral.com. All right, we're back. We have the server. We're going into Foe's server. And uh, this is going to be interesting because it is seven to three in favor of the H Labs. But if you consider, what does it take to get four points in this game? All you have to do is defend one point successfully and attack once successfully. There you go. You got your four points. So we can get tied up as quickly as foe doing that for uh, a, a two-round period. You know. So I think it's going to be just as close in this second round, just as intense. As the first round, we're going to splice this together and upload it to the website afterwards in case uh, some of you guys wanted to hear the beginning if you're just tuning in after your matches or whatever. Anyways, what do you think is going to be uh, different this round? What do you, did you think they learned anything different this round, uh, Violator? Well, we're definitely going to have... Say again? See you. There you go. Board. I'm sorry. I'm, co I'm connecting to the server. That's why it's cutting out. But, um... <laughs> No, we're definitely going to have to see a, a a bigger push by the foe squad because uh, not only are they going to need to do better on offense, but they're going to need to hold H Labs at least once to tie the game. So, foe definitely needs to step up the play this round and get some pressure on that spawn. Definitely, the the foe defense we saw last round was not very. Uh Effective. I don't know if it was because they weren't coordinated or they, they had a difficult time uh, frag-wise against the enemy. But they did some awesome offensive stuff. Like they had Phil on, up top covering the enemy spawn, the defender spawn, as they had, uh, who was it, Wreck that was capturing. And that was a really sweet move for them on the offense. But they really need to get their defense together if they want to win this game. Because you can't win without a defense. Yeah, that's right, and we're going to look for uh, more strong play, again, like you said, by Phil. Um, I'm looking uh, for Hugo Boom to step it up a little bit, uh, and also Bullet needs to come out to play. He's uh, they, they weren't very, very effective, uh, it seemed to me, 
the first round, I was more impressed. Well, I, Bullet had a pretty good game, but I was, like you said, most impressed with Phil. Had a really nice job on the cover uh, many times up in the bar in the living room, as we saw. So uh, definitely going to need to see uh, some of the other guys step up and play their best. All right, let's see who we got in here for the rosters. Looks like we got six on six. We got Sparks, Grizz, Tryptophan, Doc, Death, MPS, and Ducky for the H Labs team. And then again for the Faux team, Phil, Expedex, Glue Stick, Bullet, Hugo Boom, and Skinny J. I don't remember Glue Stick from the last match. Is that a sub? Yeah, it looks like it is. Um, I'm not quite sure. I can't remember off the top of my head who. I think it might be placing. Rack. Um. Wreck was uh, subbed out. Oh yeah, you're you're right. You're right. Wow, I, I'm and so also, impressed with we myself right now because I can usually never remember that <laughs> kind of a thing. <laughs> but Wreck is just so cool. Uh, I had to somebody, remember him. Well, somebody reminded me to uh, make sure we we knew that Sparks is a girl. I knew that, but I guess I must have said sometime uh, during the cast I, I must have called her a he. So I guess we're gonna have to watch out for that again. Sparks and Harley. I gotta remember those ones. <laughs> I think we're about ready to go. I think they have to exec the cal config, and then we'll be ready. That's one of the things I like about the Half-Life engine, is you don't have to restart the server to exec a freaking config. Caught Battlefield 1942! <coughs> <laughs> Seriously, they have to restart the server, and it kicks us out, and we have to go back to ASE and come and connect again. It's just so annoying to, re to do that. I think they have to do that uh, for certain settings in Half-Life, but I think most of the general game settings you don't have to. Only, like... Uh, max limits and such you have to actually restart the server for. I think they're reloading the map to reset timer or something. Or, I don't know. There That's we go. That's right. We have uh, what you hear. Did that switch over? It wasn't switching over before. I'll check it though. They might be not be able to hear you. Turn that on. No, I'm just making sure. Oh no, it's on. We, when yeah. I use Ventrilo, there's a there's a in. feature that of how I use Ventrilo that that so that's not really a problem for me anymore, and uh, I just I'm gl I'm glad about that. Ventrilo's worked out very well for us. If you guys want to check that out, it's www.ventrilo.com, spelt like it sounds, V E N T R I L O. It's a pretty nifty little program and uh, very clear voice, you know. You can you can do a lot of little manipulative things in it that allow you to control like the incoming sound, the outgoing sound, and you can bind things so that you can bind a button to play a wave file that's on everybody's computer. So if you had a specific, you know, that could be used for some kind of playing thing. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. Also, of course, big shout out to Speakeasy.net for hosting us. This is. Uh, not possible without them, so at least go and check it out if you're interested in finding a better broadband service. If you had Speakeasy DSL, you'd be there now. Match looks to be starting in two seconds. Why don't you take us away, Violator, on this uh, first rush? Okay, definitely. We're going to have uh, H-Labs will be defending this round, so uh, Foe is going to get a chance to come out early and uh, lay the pressure on the H-Labs. Uh, good luck's being exchanged. Fifteen seconds for these defenders to get in place outside of spawn. Again, it looks like H-Labs is going to kind of keep their defense close to that living room point, uh, like we saw a lot of last round. Two seconds, one. Here we go. The round is beginning, and the attack is beginning. Here we go. Grenades coming out of that spawn. It looks like uh, we have Phil of Foe, the only member on that left side of the d attacker spawn. Whoa, grenade there. Sparks gets blasted to bits as she sat that grenade there. And now uh, Tryptophan gets a grenade kill. A lot of fire right outside the left side of the spawn. Here we go. Eight slabs. Ducky falling back as Exudex gets a kill there. And Glue Stick also drawing two kills there. Outside of the attacker spawn. Oh Richard no! Another one! Glue Stick coming up onto the roof of the bar. And he nails another guy. Took a lot of hits for earlier. And then he comes up and fights it out direct head to head. And he finally goes down as he enters the top section of the bar. The top floor there. Who's down here? Looks like Skinny J is going for the cap. He's got it right now. Six seconds, and he stopped. Looks like MPS jumped right in there. The instant the capture started and was fighting it out with the rest of the faux team, but eventually he won it out with a, with the help of his friends. And now, oh no, another and, uh, attack! <laughs> I thought that was the end, but that they're, they're just, coming back I in. Think, yeah, that was two members of faux had made their way in. That was Phil and... Uh, Hugo Boom. Also, now Hugo Boom's up top, taking out Ducky with his famous. And now it looks like H Labs in control again. 
Whoa, a lot of fire. We have five or six members outside of the living room on top of the roof. Here they come, marching into the top. Grenades being thrown. Whoa, fire coming in. Skinny J gets a kill there. Bullet also with his HK-21. And now Bullet, two, three kills. Living room being captured at five seconds. Four, we got cover inside. Two, three guys from Foe inside covering the door. And Living Room captured. Very nice defense there by Foe as they block that door there. Two guys standing there firing through it. Bridger. That was you. definitely a nice defense. They had Bullet up top on the second floor on the roof there, firing at anybody that came near the door. Then he jumped down and started me meleeing outside with the uh, defenders, along with two people inside covering the door. There was no way the Age Labs team was going to get in there and stop that capture. And Foe, definitely great coordination on that offense. We'll see if they can keep that coordination on their defense for their next rush. Right now, they still have to capture the bar in the alley, though. They are not yet home free. The bar is tough to capture. With 3 minutes and 51 seconds, Apes Labs can still put up a defense here and uh, discourage foe <laughs> in their next chances. Whoa, glue stick getting a couple of kills there inside of that bar area, and now the bar is being captured. It's at 13 seconds, 12. No members of Apes Labs in sight. Here comes Doc Death. Whoa! Bullet up top, here's a grenade inside the bar, boom, there goes Glue Stick and Bullet, Sparks got the grenade kill there and saved the capture, but no, who is this, XPX, whoa, he gets blown up by a nice grenade thrown by Tripped Fan all the way from the bottom near that defender spawn, very close, four deaths there for um, Foe as they tried to get in, now Skinny J inside, all by himself, grenades in, no, two grenades, <laughs> boom, there he goes, and Sparks, a couple of kills there. It looks like there was two grenades in Skinny J somehow. Oh no, glue stick again. Nine seconds. Eight, seven, stopped. And it looks like that was MPS. No, not MPS. It was like a Grizz. Chucked a grenade up there. It landed right on him as MPS comes in to finish off anybody else in there. Who's coming up now? It looks like that's tripped the fan up to defend the bar. And it's not looking that good for Foe right now. With two minutes and 40 seconds left, they are, the bar is now reset to full. And the H Labs defense has been abs absurdly effective so far. Very good defense that we haven't seen uh, in, in the be since the last round. And, oh yeah, we haven't seen defense since last round. Good deal. The bar is now being captured. Violator, take it away. <laughs> Whoa, there's a grenade there, and Sparks again stops the capture of the bar. And now it looks like they're going to try and get that alleyway point. I doubt that Hates Labs is going to make their way over as just two minutes, ten seconds left in the round. Alley being captured. I'm over here. It looks like Phil all by himself. No H Labs in sight, and the alley is captured. Bar, the only point remaining with two minutes left in the round. Back to you. Still very possible. Foe on their home server. If they can just get coordination and get some defenders up on the roof and down below, they can get it. But right now, they do seem to have piecemeal people getting in there and trying to get a chain attack going. But that bar is still going. Three seconds, two. I can't believe the defenders aren't doing this. One, zero. There it goes. I was totally surprised. I was talking through that because I saw all kinds of attackers coming in, but I think they did exactly what I was talking about, and they had some defenders in the roof stopping that attack. Did you see exactly what was going on? Where were the defenders? Well, I saw uh, just that one member inside capturing the bar, and the, uh, the other guy, I think it may have been Bullet, uh, had snuck his way over those power lines there on top of the roof. So he was making sure that nobody made their way in. Uh, very nice job. Again, like you said... On top of that roof, throwing the fire down, 6 seconds, 5-4 on this next attack, and that will be H-Labs trying to uh, avenge that last nice rush there by Foe. Very nice job. Grenades being thrown in. Whoa, right away, Grizz hits a grenade there as Exkydex throws that grenade into the spawn. It looks like we do Still have a, a, a hold up here. Out. The uh, I think Ducky has m found a, a problem with the config. It's supposed to have a specific setting. I think max rate is supposed to be 8,500, but it's not. I'm not sure exactly why that matters, but <laughs> they're saying the config is wrong, well, and the so rates, they're holding up play. The rates have a big... Uh, they, they can really affect uh, shot registration uh, for certain people, so I think that... Oh, well, the uh, max rate deal. is Looks zero like right now. That's what the problem is. I think th there is the max rate is unlimited... So, I guess potentially somebody could use over the 8500 that is that is supposed to be. Ah, there we go. That was very interesting. Everything's going wrong with me tonight. Sorry about that. I uh, I lost my... That's okay. Good thing it was during a break, though. We're going to get back in and figure out exactly what they're doing with those config problems. There we go. I didn't even have a crash that time. Violet, are you there? 
Yeah, I'm still here. Um, they're they're still inside the server, uh, trying to figure out what's going on. Everybody's still kind of standing around. Um, nobody has uh, decided what to do yet. I think one member of H Labs, that was Ducky, uh, dropped out to IRC to check something out real quick. But still, no word yet on what we're going to be doing. You may want to uh, go to a quick break. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. So, do you, are we? We're not getting ready. Okay. How about we just go to a song real quick, and then when we get back, uh, we'll ask him to resume it. This one goes out to Bullet because he suggested it in the... Uh, in, in, you posted that, uh, what was it, it was like the TSN thing where you wanted suggestions on music tastes? Bullet suggested this one, Tattoo, oh, the all, the things she said. all the Things She Said. So we'll play that while we wait for the clans to figure out what they're going to do about the servers. Right now, the score stands, uh, let's see, 7 to 6 in favor of Apes Labs. All right, we are back. It looks like they have resolved the problem. The, the score from that first round that we just casted of the second half here is valid. And so now they're starting up. They're going to play three more rounds. The SV max rate is back to 8,500, the correct sec, uh, setting. And so now they're going to play these three more rounds. And I believe this is live. Violator? Yeah, that's right, Bridger. Uh, and I think H Labs is going to be defending again as Foe gets another shot at... Uh, I'm sorry. No, that can't be right. They got to reset it. That's what they're doing. Yeah. They're gonna flip it around. I was gonna say that doesn't sound right. Cause there they go. There's a. Is there like a server setting that or server uh, uh, command that you just enter and it switches the attackers versus the defenders? Oh, they just restart the match and it and it automatically switches them or what? Yeah, there's. There, I think it's in. I think it's in the SV start match. It's one of the commands in there. Should automatically do it. Uh, you remember how they had this problem in the Rot CA match where people were just sitting there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, so... 
SV start match. They keep trying it, and it's not working. Foe is still on the attacking team. <laughs> Interesting. Bullet thorn. For fuck's sake, what the hell? <laughs> oh, man. All kinds of problems tonight, and they're not all mine. Seriously. So, yeah, I think they are good, good to go everyone. now. Foe is defending, and there are now 16 seconds until the attackers come out of the gates, as if you will. It's kind of like that nerve-wracking moment before the attack. So why don't you take away this first rush? we got seven seconds to go. This is the second round of the second half of the game. And don't forget to tune in. After the game, we'll have uh, the All-Stars match. Uh, we'll have the list for you. We're going to read them out loud. Okay, here we go, Bridger. We have, uh, of course... H Labs will be attacking first blood drawn there by Skinny Jane as famous as MPS goes down. Here we go, lots of fire outside Truth the Fan getting a kill there. Glue stick goes down, but a lot of members of uh I'm sorry, H Labs are making their way the bar side of the map. Whoa, grenade there, and Bullet gets a kill with his HK twenty one, Xbudex and Bullet teaming up there to get three kills as Ducky, Grizz, and Trip Fan all go down. All right, I'm back over at the bottom of the bar here, and lots of grenades and stuff going on. Bullet and Glue Stick providing a solid defense over there, and it looks like Foe has finally uh, learned what they're trying to do. Five minutes and 15, 16 seconds left on the ticker timer. Battlefield is getting to me. Xpedex out on the roof here. Who is this? Bullet along with Glue Stick. It looks like they are taking out anybody coming for the stairs towards that... Uh, and, uh, no, they finally got taken down. Looks like, uh, that was Grizz took them down. But who followed it up? x X there was to save the day for anybody that came through. No, Dr. Death and MPS has pushed their way past. They're going for the, uh, living room there. Violet, are you down there? Yeah, we do. Here we go. We got a support making his way in. It looks like it. Who is this? I think it's Bullet. Whoa, he goes down in the hail gunfire. That was Dr. Death with the famous. And now more kills there by Foe. The bar being captured. Are you over there? I'm over there right now. We do look like we have sparks up there. Grenade gets tossed up. Boom! It takes him out. Gibbs fly everywhere. I think the guy down in the bottom just got one falling on his head. That must have been rewarding. And chuck a grenade up and instead what gets coming back? You don't want that grenade. You want blood. Yes, you do. So now the bar is being reset to free. Four minutes and 18 seconds left on this clock. Foe is definitely showing a little bit more resolve on the defense here. If they can uh, hold this out, they will tie up the game. The score right now six to seven in favor of H Labs. This is the second round now. Foe is getting their chance to defend. Right now, it looks like Glue Stick is down there defending the uh, living room. Not much going on. Uh oh, H Labs is now trying to take out the defender spawn. Yeah, inside this living room, we have Glue Stick really setting up his defense there. Very nice job by Foe on the defense inside that living room. A lot of kills there for the Foe squad as H Labs got wiped out, making their way down the ladder. It looks like we have one member of H Labs making his way into the bar. Grenades being thrown out. A lot of fire. That's X V Dex. Now the bar being captured. I can't see who it is because the name's not popping up. Grenades coming in. Boom. No, they don't do anything. Bars at 6 seconds. 5, 4. Here comes another great. Whoa, there it is. And that was MPS. Xvdex threw that grenade from all the way below and got him. And now at foe, a lot of kills there on top of the living room point. Three minutes and 17 seconds. This is the longest so far that I know that ha that H Labs has been uh, held off. So foe doing a little counseling between rounds and is now showing a much better defense than we saw last time. We'll see how their offense uh, s switches around as a result of it after this. They seem to have a still a good coordinated offense last round. This could shape up to be a tie <laughs> by the end of things. Foe now defending that uh, living room very well. Uh, Hu Hugo Boom is now down in the basement. Grenade pops in. Boom, he takes some damage, but he's still alive. H Labs not able to get much kill. Let's look at the kills here for this. We look like 50, 44, and 43 for the foe team. 37, 30, and 27 for H Labs. They are not getting uh, the, the good end of the kills right here. Bar is now being captured. Are you over there, Violator? Yes, I am. We have one member outside covering on that power, uh, those power lines area. Bar's at five seconds, four. I think they're going to get this one. Three seconds, two, one. It is captured. Very nice cover. There. Whoa, Sparks goes down. That was Sparks covering outside the bar, and it's captured. Now the living room being captured. I'm not over there. Are you? I'm just in IRC checking out the PMs here. Got no shout-outs, which is kind of odd. But the living room is now being resumed back up to free status. The bar did get captured, like you just said. 158 seconds off on the clock. This could be a possible stop by the foe team if they can hold that living room. I'm sorry. Yes, the living room <laughs> for a good enough time. 1 minute and 49 seconds. Maybe even, uh, it looks like H-Labs might make the same mistake that foe did last time if they don't go for the alley. 
soon, they might get stuck trying to attack that as uh, Foe almost got shot out there. They're now being attacked. Five, min- five seconds left. Four, three. Here comes the defenders firing through the door. The attackers and uh, two, one. Alley is being captured. 17 seconds. The living just got captured. Alley, 15, 14, 13, 12. One minute, 24 seconds. 11, 10. Here comes the defender. He comes up and Sparks takes him down. Hugo Boom tried to get up there for the foe team. Here comes somebody through the other side. And Bullet and Phil come around the alley. Two seconds, one, and it's stopped. Bullet and Phil come to the last second rescue. Violator, did you see that? Whoa, I did, and that was just a stream of kills as, oh man, H-Labs got mowed down by Foe, who came in and forced. Now the alley being captured again, two seconds, one, no, it's captured. Wow, captured by H-Labs. Who was that? I didn't see who it was, because the names are not coming up on my screen for some reason. My cursor's messed up. Um, Very nice job. There were three members of H-Labs. Inside that alleyway, freshly respawned, and uh, Foe did not have enough guys left alive with high enough health to do anything about it. Yeah, Bullet and Phil used up a whole lot of their health on that last-ditch effort to save the capture point in the alley. And uh, by the time the enemy came in storming, uh, there's nothing they could do. All right, Violator's going to reconnect to try and get his names working. Now H-Labs is going to try their defense again. The score now stands at... 10 to 6. We've got these two rounds to go. Foe really has to uh, get their act together and tie it up now, or uh, they're not going to get a chance because this is the last half of the last half of the match. All Star list is going to be read on the Team Sportscast Network. We got a TSN exclusive for you here, so stay tuned after the game for the All Stars for the Cal All Star match that will take place after the finals for Frontline Force in the Cal League. STA is starting up soon too, so you might want to check that out. Okay, here come the foe team trying to get their attack in, but uh, so far they haven't been able to do it. Nothing's been captured. Five minutes, 18 seconds on the clock. Here comes Glustick for the foe team into the bar. He jumps down trying to attack the enemy spawn. Boom! Dr. Death takes out Glustick and Skinny J just outside the defender's spawn. The living room was then secured by the H-Labs team. They almost had a push there on the living room with a couple of guys outside trying to uh, keep the defenders from reinforcing that living room point. But Dr. Death saves the day, takes out two of them with his grenade. Uh, Violet, are you back in the server yet? Yeah, that's right. Uh, x Dex now for the foe squad, capturing the bar all by himself. He had a couple of kills there coming up the steps all by himself. Looks like one member down below. Here comes Ducky trying to make his way. No, it stopped. That was Ducky throwing a grenade up there. Now the bar being recapped by Glustick. Glustick all by himself. Three seconds. Two. Now the living room also being captured. Bar stopped by Grizz getting a grenade. But the living room, two seconds. No, that stopped also. And H-Labs gets six kills there in like five seconds. Whoa, really close there, Bridger. All right, I got a couple of announcements here. We got a news break from Spamdini. C.A. Provide, presides over the U.S. team 17 to 3. And uh, let's see, Rark sends us uh, BA versus IFH. The win goes to IFH 10 to 7. And uh, by the way, Roar is a sexy beast! Yes, sexy beast! He just wanted to tell you that. Xor is uh, giving me IFH versus AI. Uh, I already got that one. All right, uh, why don't you take us Whoa, away in the Bridger. next section? Bridger, lots of action. Bar, bar captured. Living room now being captured. No, the living room captured. While you were talking, the bar was captured. Oh, and now no. the living room captured. Oh, By it's Bo. getting their they offense back on. Do it. Whoa, Sorry about I should probably should have waited minutes for the end. Sorry about that. Alley now being captured. Wow. Violet, here, why don't you take that one because I keep interrupting you. We got three minutes. It looks like three members of Foe inside covering. I don't know. Seven seconds, six, five. I don't see anybody from Ace Labs. Foe, I think, has got this one. Whoa! Here comes Trip the Band. Whoa! Three kills there, and he finally grenades himself. But no, it's picked up again, and it's captured. Glustick was the last man alive. Trip the Band grenaded himself there after getting a couple of kills, and Foe wins this round um, attacking H-Labs uh, their last chance if Foe does not stop them I think H-Labs will have the win alright so now the score is 10 to 9 in favor of H-Labs if Foe can save one capture point this round they will be tying it right up and I believe that in regular season they don't go into overtime do they? Uh, I don't think so. I know last week they did not. So here we go. The attack is beginning. Let's see if H-Labs can pull off the win or if Bo can tie it up. 
Um, let's check it out. Bridger, are you over there? I'm over here, and lots of grenade action going on. Actually, not grenade action. M AK-5 action going on. Ape Slabs has a strong push here. I don't think Foe got a single kill on that defense. Ape Slabs going for that bar. This could be a very quick kill, but no, there's somebody up on the roof firing at him. Looks like that's Bullet firing into there, and he kills two of them. Dr. Death and MPS both go down as they try to enter the upper bar room, but... Bullet was waiting there. Now the bar being captured, 13-12, but I think Bullet bought them enough time if the defenders can get back up. Yes, it's stopped by Phil with his grenade. Sparks also comes in to fill it, finish off glue stick, but now the bar being recaptured. Who comes in? It looks like that's Phil again, who was hiding down inside the bar, but he gets taken out. Now Sparks is capturing it. She's almost got it. Two seconds, one. Who's trying to get to it? Nobody, and it's captured. That was very quick for the Ape Slabs team. Foe is going to have to put up some major defense at the living room if they want to get this tied. That's right. x Dex was on top trying to fire in through the capture point, but I know I've said it before. I'll say it again. You can't fire through these capture points. Uh, x Dex should have jumped in. Whoa, a lot of fire inside. That's Grizz. No, I'm sorry. That's Bullet coming out over Ducky with his HK-21 back behind in the, those boxes there inside the living room area. Four minutes, 36 seconds left in the round. Whoa, grenade there. Sparks jumps down from the top there, We're getting Bullet, who's the fatty, getting another kill there with her AK-5, glue stick goes down, whoa, grenade there, Sparks gets owned by that grenade, and uh, Foe marching in. Looks like Ape Slabs is trying to get their defenders, whoa, they're going down like crazy, Ape Slabs finally does get one person in the position to try and stop the defenders from uh, getting to the living room once they respawn, but there already are foe members inside that living room, and that's what counts. Here comes Trip the Fan, chucks a grenade inside, and he gets nobody, because nobody was around for that grenade to go off. Foe still inside with two or three members, while the H Labs battle rages outside, but Bullet and Phil come up on top. The dynamic duo, Bullet and Phil, lots of uh, action between <laughs> those two. I'm guessing they're uh, a little bit more than friends, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what do we got hey, going on hey, now? Three know, minutes and 40 know. seconds left. The living room is <laughs> now being captured. Five seconds, four, three, two, no foe in the area. One, zero, and there it is. Three minutes and 30 seconds left. And the alley is the only Bridger, point that was left. MPS. <laughs> Whoa, that was MPS with the capture by very nice defense. Um, or rather, offensive uh, pressure there by the uh, H Lab squad as they had two members inside. Uh, the alley's at six seconds, five. Doc Death. Whoa, getting mowed down there by Phil. Phil, two kills there. One with a grenade, one with an AK-5. And then Grizz grenades them both to the skybox. Alley at two seconds, one, zero. It's captured. Ladies and gentlemen, H Labs gets the win. By, uh, what was it? Well, it's by three, four points, but technically it was very close to a tie right there. So then the overall score would be uh, 13 to 9. Is that correct? That's right. All right, wow. Very close game, Bridger. Definitely. Again, how about we just have H Labs versus Foe every week? Each and every week. <laughs> I don't <laughs> Different know. Different map? I don't know. It's so <laughs> fun as hell, man. Is, uh, the, it, it, it's so intense that. Every time, I mean, the matches are just so intense that nobody... You, 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 this is the kind of match that you want to cast, in other words. Yeah. Because, I mean, a lot, of the, a lot of the FLF matches that I've done, they're basically decided before the last round. But these are the good ones, where the last round decides the match. You know? Because FLF is kind of a weird game in that... The, the the match can be decided before you get to the last round. And so you guys, you know, you're just kind of still playing there, trotting along, you know, just going through the motions, trying to finish up the round, you know, maybe save some face on the lo if you're on the losing side, maybe lose by a little less, but there's not really much you can do. So let's uh, quit out of that. And uh, we're going to go to a quick uh, sounder. So after that, we're going to give our MVPs of that particular match, and we're going to announce the All-Stars for the Cal All-Star match later on so stay tuned we will be right back here on the team sportscast network powered by speakeasy.net <clears throat> let's review shall we earlier this summer we covered uva land 4 live from virginia all he's got to do is hold on to that flag no he can't do it oh my god then we moseyed on down to Texas and broadcasted QuakeCon live on location. QuakeCon 2002, come on! Oh, yeah! 
Then we got lost in New York City for the World Cyber Game U.S. Finals. WCG U.S. Championships. You may cheer now. Uh, after that, it was off to Korea for the World Cyber Game Grand Finale. On day one of WCG 2002, I have finally connected to the stream. Not from home, not from New York, not from Dallas, but from Daejeon, Korea. So, maybe we should take a break. Nah, that's where we've been. This is where we're going. QuakeCon 2003, live from Dallas, Texas. The Intel Masters Championships, the World Cyber Games in 2003. And your online favorites such as Bob 2. You're locked on to your eSports revolution for 2003 and beyond. This, this is the Team Sportscast Network. TSM. Alright, no, let's find the correct song. I know what I'm looking for. Shh. Hold on, hold on, I can find it. I can find it. There it is. Alright, take it down a notch. We're going down to the MVPs. Alright, I'll pick mine here. I think I'm going to go with Phil for Foe and... Who for H-Labs? H-Labs had a lot of good plays. But... I think I'm going to have to go with Sparks, because she's... Onage. Seriously. <laughs> she is. What do you think, what, Violator? You think those two, or what? What's your MVP picks? Uh, well, for Foe, I I definitely agree with you, but Bullet, for Foe, stood out the most there. He had some great cover um, in that second half of the match. The second, Yeah, definitely the second half. Very nice cover with the HK21. Outside of the living room area for H Lab, uh, that's going to be a tough one. But I saw a lot of a lot of kills there by Tripfan. He had a lot of last minute stops with his grenades. So uh, those are going to be my picks tonight. All right. So <laughs> I'm told that when I said that Bullet and Phil were more than just friends, <laughs> I was right because they're brothers. <laughs> Good game, Bridger. <laughs> you idiot. This, I, this, I, knew, I did not know that. <laughs> That's news to me, but uh, I know now. Good, I'm not the only one. <laughs> I was wondering why they were always, like, fighting next next to each other. It's because they were fighting next to each other. <laughs> so, oh, anyways, we're going to end the cast. Good night, everybody. Bye. No, I'm just kidding. We got some... <laughs> <laughs> we got something special for you. We have the all-star picks for the cows. So, Vio, just looking over the list here, there's some uh, excellent picks in here. What do you think? I, 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 I remember seeing a lot of these guys do some really uh, good action when I was casting. And I, Well, yeah, I agree with you, Bridger, definitely. And, and I think this is going to be a match uh, definitely worth casting. Just looking at these... The rosters for these two teams, uh, there's uh, definitely going to be some ownage going on. Let's see, we got a CA definitely. guy, we got a US guy, IFH, we have somebody, ironically enough, from the All-Stars, we have a Rada, uh, obviously, we have a H Labs, another US, uh, yeah, we got a lot of players in there. It's kind of interesting, don't you think? Yeah, good, uh, very good spread, and uh, I just want to remind everybody... To make sure you tune in, this Sunday I'm going to be casting All-Stars vs. Pro Woodser Sunday morning at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. That's when pregame starts. The match is at 2.30. Uh, that's going to be a great match, uh, bringing you some European frontline force action. Make sure you tune into that if you guys are awake. I know I may have to wake up a little early for that one, because uh, Sunday is usually my sleeping day. But uh, back to the Cal All-Stars. Oh, yes, of course. But first, before we go to that, it's, uh, speakeasy.net is is really great DSL service. And don't forget to check out www.worldogl.com for uh, ladders outside of FLF. I don't think I think they used to have a Frontline Force ladder, but they might not have it now. But anyways, OGL is an awesome thing. They're our sponsor as well. So check them out in case you're interested in a ladder. So uh, without further ado, we'll go to the teams. Why don't you give us Team 1? I'll uh, run down Team 2. Okay, Bridger, Team 1 for the Cal Frontline Force All-Star Team will consist of Biz from the Corrupted Asylum, Wooda from RADA, NXS from the Unified Syndicate, Nightkeeper from the Infantry from Hell, um, Yo Meister from All-Stars, GB from RADA, Tussin from the Corrupted Asylum, 
Ducky from the Hidden Labs team, Heineken from Pro Wutzer, and finally, Schizophrenic from the Unified Syndicate. Is that what H Labs means? Holy! That's oh right. man, I never knew, and I never wanted to ask because I didn't know if that was just the name and it didn't mean anything. It was just the labs. Well, of Bricker, H. Uh, <laughs> it's actually, it's actually a company, and they all work together, and and they uh, they they run a frontline force team and a server, so they're all kind of a little. It's it's a, actually a real company called Hidden Labs, I believe. Cool. So, going on to Team 2, let's see, we've got uh, two, three people from the Corrupted Asylum. We've got Ugly, Equals, and Neo. I'm not surprised to see uh, Equals in there for sure. Saw a lot of good kills by him. For the uh, Infantry from Hell, we have two people on Team 2. Talk about brother against brother. <laughs> you got it basically evenly spread, like a bit, one from each of the top clans at least on each of the teams. So we got Infantry from Hell, Rod Dog, and Afterlife in there. Rodder, we... I'm sorry, Rod... Rodda, we have Naki uh, in there. Also, a Jesus Freak for the Bobtopian Army for the All-Stars. Again, Jolly Green is there for the Hidden Labs team. Hidden Labs, I feel so elite now. Sparky is there. And finally, <laughs> rounding out the second team for the All-Stars, the Cal uh, game that's going to take place after... The finals. Drum roll, please. Okay, that was a gay little drum roll. But we got Coolio for the XL team, the Extreme Losers. So you, you got to wonder how somebody from an Extreme Losing team could get... No, just kidding. I'm not going to make fun of their name anymore. I did that uh, last Coolio. time. <laughs> yeah, Coolio's a good guy. He's uh, running the FLF Liga League, so he's kind of my contact in between those guys. So, uh, we're gonna, you know, Bridger, I think I'm going to try and definitely cast this All-Stars match if you want to jump in on that. We'll have to find out the you mean and stuff, but I I'm going to cast it and cast. you're going to jump in with me? You're going to jump in with me. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I think maybe this time it'll have to be me. I won't crash halfway through. Oh, you don't even have two sound cards, son of a... Anyways, I oh, got a shout-out no. here from Exor to Gimpanz for being a stupid big head. Welcome to kindergarten, Exor. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. Uh, I don't think I have any more shout-outs, so we got to pass it over to Trillian. Because we got, what do we have coming up? Trillian is going to be doing some uh, Quake 3. So give out your shout outs and then we got to say goodnight. And t stay tuned for some Quake 3 action, though. Trillian, we got a girl. Okay, <laughs> Did yeah. you know girls play games these days? <laughs> yeah, it's elite, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so my only shout outs go to Explosion from Firm and finally Emily, girlfriend who always tunes in every week. All right, let's see. What did I want to put on here? All right, let's put on a QuakeCon moment now for uh, you guys while we get it switched around. This is the QuakeCon moment karaoke. <laughs> you might not want to listen to this one. Oh, it's a good one. And good now, one. another QuakeCon Good night, everybody, from Bridger and the Violator. Trillion is up next. Oi, Mr. Blue. Hi, by 311. Hi, by 311, no. I got some 311, though, dude. Yes. Hey, it's really early in the morning. Oh, it's this or it's this or automated music, automated techno. Grandmaster Flash. Grand Flash. Okay. Hey, Mr. Uh, Trav, do you have that song queued up? Wait a second. Say it again. So do you have that song queued up? What song? What song, darling? When worlds collide. Affirmative. No, negative. Where is it? Is that it? Power Man 5000, dude. Yeah. Where the, where the hell Keep is going? Three. You need world? Okay. Oh, right there. <laughs> That's what it's like when world Okay. Just a second. Yes. Are you ready? Yes, we are. We? All right. Got this is the ball, total control. The wizard in 
everybody out there. Now watch your stuff for me, because we can't go. Oh, you're in it. I'm in it. that you had to die. I'm going to be the one to take it over. Now this is what it's called. Cry! Are you ready to go? Come, are you ready to go? What you got to do? Baby, baby! Are you got to do this? This has been a QuakeCon moment on TSN, www.tsncentral.com. Oh, you know what? Trillion needs a little bit more time, so I got time for some shout-outs here. I had some. Uh, Biz sends one out to C.A. Pudwack, and I got one from, uh, I think, uh, Gimpanzee to Xor because Xor dissed him, and so Gimpanzee sent a diss, but I lost the PM, so let's just say Xor's an idiot. There we go. It's been said. From Gimps, Gimpanzee, and uh, take him off. Take who off? I don't know. Rar is yelling at me to do something. <laughs> All right. Okay, Violator has one, too. We're going to see what he's got here. And um, while we're we're going to play uh, another song in the background. Go ahead. Uh, I got one from... Uh, one that goes out to Captain Iran, who's listening as usual. And uh, Cypher had one, but uh, he's not PMing me, so that's it for me. All right, we're going to play this, leave you guys with this, and then Trillian's going to be on after this with Quake 3. Stay tuned. Apparently, Trillian is <laughs> still not quite ready. I'm gonna I'm gonna give out one more shout out here. Gim, <laughs> sing along, huh? I can sing along to a different anime. Oh Breaking my ear. Me no do a o ta ta i te mo. Oya shina ke mo. Oya mitsu me te. O ko e ni de. Anata. Anyways, I gotta get off. No more singing. Sorry. <laughs> Somebody always requests that. I don't know why, but uh, we're going to go over to a sounder real quick, and then Trillian's going to hop on here for Quake 3 action, so stay tuned. Oh my goodness, my goodness. Only Hannibal Lecter, Wonder Dog, that flag was returned right on the stand, feet away from a cap for 5150. Holy Hannibal Lecter, am I supposed to say. <laughs> Quick Alchemist, to the.